We are in the university's RJ Mitchell wind tunnel. Um, we're testing the Formula Student scale model. So the model is a 40% model based off of our 2019 car. So the 2019 car is about two meters long. So the model is roughly 80 centimeters long. Um, so it's made up of a kind of aluminium spine, which is used to essentially make sure it's as strong as possible so it doesn't wobble or uh, buckle under the aerodynamic forces. Um, and then all the bodywork we place on it is a mixture of 3D printed parts um, or carbon fibre parts, which we can make ourselves. Um, and then it's all kind of put together, bolted to the model, and then we uh, turn the big fan on. The wind tunnel model was developed by a GDP um, group design project two years ago. The aero package was designed by the team this year and we 3D printed it all here in house. This wind tunnel here has suction to remove the binder layer around the tunnel. Um, it just allows us to improve the accuracy of our measurements. Uh, we take live readings of the forces all over the car and the balance front to rear. So this is something that helps us at Formula Student Competition. Um, gets a lot of design points so we can justify all our vehicle performance simulations and correlate it to our kind of real, real world testing data. So when we're testing the scale model in the wind tunnel, um, we use the data that we've got to validate our CFD models to check that they are showing the same things that the wind tunnel is and if they're not we can then alter them and see how different it is and what we need to do to improve our models. As well as this, all of our probes and the scanners allow us to correlate the wind tunnel testing to our CFD models um, which just gets us a lot more design points again in competition um, and also looks very pretty.